Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's capital, is under siege. From flash floods, powerful forces of nature that bring the city to its knees. But Kuala Lumpur is fighting back. A daring construction project will try to bring the mighty floods under control. Massive floodgates across three rivers. Six kilometers of canals. Giant storage ponds. And a state-of-the-art stormwater tunnel that doubles as an underground highway. It will be an epic battle of man versus nature. Fought on the front lines of a modern city. Kuala Lumpur, the financial hub of one of the fastest growing economies in the world and home to almost two million people. But this dynamic city has an Achilles heel. The city is built at the junction of two major river systems. When heavy rain strikes, the city begins to fill. Warnings are issued as the rivers start to rise. In the past, this deluge resulted in flash floods once or twice a decade. But now, urban expansion has turned the occasional flooding into an almost yearly disaster. Datuk Kezrul Abdullah has spent the past 15 years battling the country's flood problems. Floods have become more common, it's become more severe, and it's causing more damages. It's no longer just lives that are at risk. The country's future is on the line. We have had flood incidences, flood events, where the damage was so big, it had the effect of for almost equivalent to 1% of the GDP. Flash floods happen when more rain falls than the land can absorb. Normally, forests and other green zones soak up rainfall, but asphalt and concrete don't absorb water at all. Drains help replace the natural reservoirs. But Kuala Lumpur is growing faster than its drainage systems can cope. As more and more green space is turned into roads and urban development, the risk of flash floods increases. The Malaysian government is on a mission, an epic project, to save the nation's capital from flash floods. The source? Powerful thunderstorms that pound the valley for months on end. These storms have become more severe and unpredictable. Thunderstorm formation need two things. One is uh, moisture and the other one is heat. Malaysia is sandwiched between two huge moisture sources, the Pacific and Indian Oceans. In recent years, the moisture coming off these oceans has increased. Climatologists believe this could be due to global warming. Global warming adds excess energy into the climate system. Eventually this will uh, cause uh, changing climate pattern at local, uh, regional as well as global uh, scale. But it's not just global warming that's the problem. As cities turn green space into concrete and glass, the local temperature soars. It's called the urban heat island effect. And KL is one of the hottest urban islands on the planet. Kuala Lumpur has been warming uh, at a rate um, much higher than the global uh, average for the last 40 years. The result, Kuala Lumpur, has become a massive thunderstorm factory. Thunderstorm comes, it overloads the system, we get flash floods. What we have noticed is this whole phenomenon uh, has become more frequent and more intense. To solve the problem of today's floods and future-proof the city, the engineers must divert 10 million cubic meters of flood water through a densely populated city. In suburbia, they're building massive diversion canals. But canals are not an option in downtown KL. There's just not enough room. Gamuda International 
come up with a revolutionary stormwater tunnel to solve the problem, called SMART. 9.7 kilometers long, traveling under downtown KL, with a three kilometer highway in the middle, a combination that has never been attempted before. David Parks is the chief engineer for the SMART tunnel. The man responsible for making the impossible possible. We were working on a project that nobody had ever done before. Nobody had ever designed it, no one had ever built it either, so we were definitely venturing into the unknown, really. The bulk of the tunnel will channel flood water under the city, while the middle section will carry traffic. Most of the time, these parts will be separate, but when a major flood threatens, the road will be evacuated, and the entire tunnel opened up to flood water. KL can go from situation normal to a full flood in under two hours. And this kind of flooding can occur even if it's not raining in the middle of the city, but it's raining upstream. If this epic battle is to succeed, they need a warning system that's foolproof. The Kuala Lumpur Flood Control Plan has multiple lines of defense. But if they are not deployed in time, the plan will fail. The solution? A warning system. Faster than anything that has come before. Chris Godding is the Malaysian manager of Greenspan the company designing the flood warning system. If the predictions are wrong, if they don't accurately capture the flood, or if the wrong techniques are put into practice to divert the flood, then there is a very big chance that a loss of life could occur. Chris's team uses computer models to help make the predictions. So the model is what looks at the data that's coming in, the rainfall, the river levels, the velocities. In a normal system, these models run every hour. But to keep up with KL's turbulent environment, Chris's models run every five minutes. To make these lightning predictions, Greenspan installs state-of-the-art monitoring stations out in the field. The equipment that we've put into this system is at the absolute cutting edge of instrumentation, communications and process control. The star of this high-tech monitoring show is a $15,000 cylinder called a Doppler Velocity Reader. The Doppler works like a speed camera. It fires radio waves at the water at a certain frequency. When the waves hit the water, that frequency changes. An inbuilt sensor calculates the velocity of the river based on the difference between the outgoing and incoming frequency. There are 28 stations around the valley, all feeding real-time information back to mission control. Four years after it all began, the ponds are on standby. The barrages are ready. The warning system is in place. The smart tunnel set for action and the diversion canals nearly finished. When finally complete, the Kuala Lumpur flood control project will be a true man-made marvel. A daring endeavor to control nature that will pay off tenfold. I think it's quite a marvelous feat, the way they've managed to coordinate the tunnels, the ponds, the canals. Uh, I think the whole world would look at this as quite a, quite a significant achievement. The team have overcome unique challenges and developed innovative new products. It really goes to show if there is a challenge that we need to solve, creative engineering can solve that. And the revolutionary smart tunnel has set a new benchmark for the world. Already other cities are looking at the smart solution uh, as a way of overcoming some of their difficulties. Now Kesrol's goal is to bring nature back to KL. Our job is not finished yet, because now we've got to look back. Having taken care of the flood, how do I bring nature back to the river? <laughs>